Hi, my tens of viewers. I have some bad news. I have to change my opening line because I have over one million followers and I can prove it. Okay, you know how I'm always going on about the programming on BBC America? Doctor Who, The Choir, Top Gear, Come Dine With Me, BBC News, The F Word. Well, it would seem that according to BBC America, they are now the fastest growing new cable channel. Well, then logic dictates that if A, I'm touting them constantly on this blog, and B, their viewership is growing at the fastest rate in America, and that this type of growth takes like millions of viewers to do, then even though YouTube says my average video only gets like 150 to 180 views, the logical conclusion is C, YouTube must be wrong. And the nerd chick has over one million viewers! Woo! That's what we do! Yes, we do, Johnny! We have one million viewers! Yay! Yes, million viewers. yes, I know that the logic and the assertions put forth earlier are completely unsound and sometimes referred to as false cause or subjective validation fallacy. The truth is, viewership for the nerd chick is, by most YouTube standards, quite low. But look how happy I am. Won't you just allow me this delusion for a short while? Thanks. Big news on the Charlie front. But for more on this story, we have to take you out to our reporter in the field. Charlie's got a new trick she wants to show you, and we hope it works out. Here we go. Go, go. Yes! Well, that's it for Charlie's trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm very excited because I got me a frisbee dog. I knew it. We are not alone. An exoplanet 20 to 50% the mass of Earth has been discovered only 20 light years away, and it appears to have all the ingredients conductive to sustaining life. However, it would be a different place than Earth, as it's tidally locked to its star, creating basically one perpetually long day on the world. It's kind of like living in Alaska during the summer, all of the time. And we know what that's done for minds of certain, oh, let's call them political candidates. You can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. Vlogbrothers alert. Has Hank Green of the Vlogbrothers launched his own line of biodegradable garbage bags? Okay, not really, but you've got to admit, the likeness is scary. And in case you didn't think Las Vegas was dangerous enough, the new Badara Hotel at City Center on the Strip has a small design flaw. Or is it a flaw? It seems the south-facing tower is also kind of a giant solar collector, which then directs the sun rays into what's being called the Vidara Death Fray. If you're at the hotel's swimming pool at the wrong time of day and season, it can actually singe your hair and melt a plastic drinking cup. Not to mention what it does to your tan. So why do I think a death ray in Vegas is even worth mentioning? Well, that's simple. Nerd.